Hey everybody, it's Terry Allen. So I'm here with Dr. Laura Jones. She is going to be one of the, the featured speaker at the No More Secrets fibroid event at Truman Medical Center and Lakewood Truman. So we wanted to sit down with Dr. Doan and really talk about this event and give you some information and get you up and going and because we want you to follow us on social media and we want to get you talking about such a great event. So Dr. Doan, Tell us a little bit about yourself. So, um, I have been an OBGYN in the Lee Summit area for the last 30 years. I was in private practice for 29 years and then joined University Health the last year. And, um, and I've had much more opportunities at um, University Health, teaching opportunities and, and um, opportunities like this to get in front of the public and, and um, teach awesome. actually and teach female so um, anyway so I am in, in somewhat um, still have a private practice through University Health and um, if you're interested you can go on the website <laughs> and, uh, and get an appointment but um, so so we you had more um, so I have also two children um, they're grown and I've been married for 37 years, and so um, I've had a hysterectomy myself, I've had um, a C-section myself, I've had a vaginal delivery myself, I've been through um, most things that females have been through, yeah. and I think it makes me um, more compassionate to, um, to female needs, and, um, and I'm... And I think this is the best job, being an OBGYN. I get to um, talk to people every day. I get to um, try to um, improve their life every day. Great. Now, see, that was my next question, is what, what makes you so passionate about women's health? Well, uh, again, um, it's a happy feel. I, you know, most females, um, I mean... When they see me, they're um, either having a problem, which usually I can take care of, and um, like like what we're going to do, talk about fibroids, I can help them with the fibroids, or, you know, they can come to me and they, and sometimes they'll be having um, bleeding that um, they don't know is abnormal, and I'm, I'm like, this is abnormal, this is affecting your life, I can help you. And um, so I feel like, being an OBGYN, you can help people know that what they're going through is abnormal and um, they can seek a better life and not be um, controlled by their periods, which a lot of people are. So, so I chose it because it's a happy field and I can make a difference. Sure. So would you consider yourself a, an expert in, in uh, this category? or? Oh, this is my field. This yes. is my field. Mm -hmm. That is great. So, um, here at University of your, your practice here. So, how many? How much? How many would you say uh, that you diagnose uh, fibroids? Uh, let's say I don't know weekly, daily. You know, how often are you diagnosing fibroids? Well, certainly daily. Um, so, uh, we have a lot of patients that see us just for their well woman exams and um, but of the people that come in for problems I mean 80% of the time is for abnormal bleeding and um, probably 80% of those people is because of fibroids they're abnormally bleeding because of fibroids and um, and so right so quite a few, quite a few. so of that of, of that number uh, how many would you say is, is uh, of women of color? Well, so when a woman of color sees me, a lot of times she doesn't know right. that she's having abnormal bleeding. And we have to do some teaching. Right. And so we have a lot of people that have to learn just because their grandma blood heavy and had to stay home and, you know, or their mom blood heavy. I have to teach them teach people, you know, especially African-Americans, because um, 
you know, there's just, uh, everybody has, has gone with what their family, what's normal for their family. But, um, you know, fibroids are genetic, and so what's normal for this family is really abnormal for the rest of the world. And, you know, there's a lot of teaching that needs to be done. And I think that is part of why we're doing this program, right. to teach people that it's not normal to stay home. Absolutely. You know, it's not normal to have pain, you know, like devastating pain when you're having your period. And, uh, and you know, probably in the African-American community, it seems like there's a lot of people that say, oh, this is normal. Mine's worse than yours, you know? But it's not normal just because mine is worse than yours. It, in, I think that um, part of, of what's going on this year, this Me Too movement, is educating females that just because you know, they've heard this is normal all their life doesn't mean it's normal, okay? And, um, and so that's what I'm passionate about this program, is trying to teach people that it's not normal to suffer. And we have treatments out there. We can help. And um, nobody should be... Um, you know, just like giving up a week of their life or two weeks of their life or, you know, months of their life because of heavy bleeding, you know, we can help and, um, yeah. That's awesome. That is great to hear. That is, that is what the event is all about, uh, sharing the information, hearing it from uh, experts. Uh, doctors that know about it and she's absolutely right that's that's how it's been in the African-American community is we think this is normal uh, that's that's how you and I met you know when you when you first told me that I had them and you were like you, you didn't know I remember that? you're like you didn't know you had these fibroids and I'm thinking like you got the wrong chart <laughs> you know I really I was like are you sure you sure and you're like yeah you so absolutely, uh, that's why we came up with, with this event is to teach and educate and um, get people prepared, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for women that maybe have just been diagnosed and they don't know what to do from there. They've been diagnosed or they've known, you know, for a year or two. Some women walking around with fibroids and they know that they have them, but they think that it's, you know, a death sentence to the uterus, you know, or to the, the womanhood. Uh, and that may not nece that may necessarily not be true. Uh, that there is so many different treatments now. It's it's not like it was uh, years ago where the only option is a hysterectomy. Now it's so many other treatments where you don't have now a hysterectomy is the last last resort if there's no other option. Correct. So we uh, appreciate you so much. So what can you tell us? What can a woman expect um, at this event? Or what can she take away from uh, attending No More uh, Secrets? Okay. Yeah. Well, so um, hopefully we will um, teach people what is normal. Like what is a normal period? You know, and if you're bleeding through... So a normal period is... Um, like most people, they only bleed 40 milliliters, which is most people only bleed like four maxi pads, you know, like a total of four maxi pads in a week or, you know, through their period. Um, and the normal range is between four and, and eight. But if you're going through more than eight, like filling up eight maxi pads or, you know, or tampons, like... Um, if you're going through more than 12 tampons through a period, you're, you're abnormal. Um, we need to, you know, we need to train you or teach you that. We need to um, teach you why um, or, or the genesis of this process. And then we also need to um, empower people by learning how they can take control of their health and how and what the different options of treatment are. So that's what we're going to do. Good stuff, good stuff. So also you can uh, reach out to University Health, uh, Dr. Dome's clinic out here in Lee Summit at universityhealth.com. Uh, also, you can also get uh, that link via TrueMed.org TrueMed as well. So thank you for watching and I know we will see you